right, last we left off, we we're here at this little island in the middle of this kind of, uh, not a lake, but like a, a bay, I would call it, mini bay. And, uh, this machine has become the bane of my existence. Why, machine? Why do you hate me so? Maybe because in another take of this, I told you I wanted to throw you off a cliff. Uh, and make you commit suicide as a machine. Um... I have to explain why I don't like this machine, because since I insulted it, apparently, it has decided that every time I try to take it, you know, do a clip of this Let's Play, it's going to crash mist. Every time. I think I've done this, if I had to estimate, about six to eight times. I've tried to do, and I've actually gotten really close to solving it, and then it crashes meanly. Now. There is a good thing though, this machine doesn't actually have to be put in the proper position to solve this puzzle. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to show you a little bit, uh, a little bit about it, and then I'm going to walk away before Mist crashes, and explain to you how to solve the puzzle, just by my beautiful words, by the sound of my voice. So, here we have the five symbols that, uh, we've seen throughout the island. The water, the heat the time, the crystals, and the wind. If you hit this, you get that, which seems like it does nothing, but what it does is it plays the sounds uh, in the order that you um, have put them at different, uh, different numbers and such. Now what you're supposed to do is this is 360 degrees on this machine. You can turn it around in any direction and see different things on the island. The whole point of the puzzle is um, we turned on all those switches where everything was. We have to get this little monitor to the spot where it was. Uh, the tricky thing is the controls are a little crazy because you hit them and it goes really slow and then it suddenly speeds up to super, super, super fast. And I think this is what my computer must not like because when I'm usually messing with these controls is usually when it crashes the game. Um, the controls themselves are very frustrating. Even if you know the degrees are supposed to go to. It's very challenging to get to the right spot, and actually this makes this my least favorite puzzle in the game. Um, and maybe that's why it doesn't like me either in response. So, uh, what you have to, but the whole point is to not really, I mean, you have to find the degrees, but once you hit this button here, it will play the sounds in a specific order. Um, and based on that order, that is um, the combination to the door we saw earlier. Now, I want to do a quick little experiment here. I want to see if uh, if putting these will still show. Okay. Let's hit the sum button. Four, one, six, two, three. You don't actually have to put them in the specific spot. Oh, I cheated. You don't. Because... Um, the whole point is to find the combination of sounds. If you put different numbers on all these and hit the sum button, it'll play each of these buttons in the order that we need to do it further. So you don't actually need to find it. It's a little way to cheat, and the nice thing is we can cheat to find the answer so it doesn't crash my machine. I like doing it organically because you hear all the sounds. The whole thing is you're supposed to rotate it and you hear the sound uh, if you turned on all the buttons as we were walking around. And since you hear the sounds, it's kind of neat to see where it is on the island, but the, like I explained earlier, that's why we're not going to do it that way. I can tell you the order we end up getting. Uh, we do the wind first, the um, water sound second, the wind sound third, did I say wind sound twice? Crystal sound, water sound, wind sound, heat sound, and clock sound. Now if you watch, wind sound, hmm, actually is that the same order? Yes, um, when it does the same exact thing as it would normally. It threw me off because I did put six as the last one instead of five. But it gives you the same answer, so you don't actually have to do this puzzle, which I think is kind of a neat, cheap way that you can do it. Luckily, you can do that because it hates my game. Well, specifically, hates my game slash hates my recording software. So that's the... I honestly recommend doing that that way because if you're doing the controls yourself, you will understand very why it is a frustrating endeavor 
um, easily would be fixed if the controls were just better. And that's something that uh, if they ever remade this game, I would recommend developers please make that puzzle um, easier to to complete. Please and thank you from Tommy Girl. I love you guys though. I love your game. All right. So we've talked a little bit about this age. Um, one thing to notice, and I haven't really pointed out yet, is um, in the journal that we read about this, uh, Atris described this as a desert. And if you look around, there's a lot more water than it seems like there should be at a desert. But he did say that when he comes back to this age, it changes quite quickly. So it makes sense that it's been a while since he's been here, so there'd be a lot of changes. Um, I believe in the second time uh, we, we uh, Atris came back, he did describe a lake, but we are surrounded by water. So this is different than either of the journal descriptions um, talked about in the journal. But no problem, we get, we get some changes. Now let's do the combination. We want wind. Oh! A wind instrument, not wind. We want the crystal sound. Yes. That's what we want. Uh, number two is the water sound. Here we go, ta-da! Um, actually, it's a little too early for the ta-da, but... Oh, that sounds like the wind sound, so we can just leave that there. We want the heat sound. And then the clock sound. Come on, open. Yes. Ta da. Oh, man. You know, it always feels so good to solve a puzzle like that. Especially when I wrestle with. with annoying things. I really like, um, even though I don't think the, um, resolution is terribly great in here, like, I kind of like the look of the walls. It gives this menacing metal look. Ooh. What is this? It kind of looks a little bit spaceshipy, but not quite. It's a little scary. Like, creepy to go in there. Well, I can't really look around. I can look at the chair. There's only so much looking around. I guess I'm supposed to sit here. I am the pilot. Alright. Uh, what do we got here? Can't backtrack. Can't turn. Oop! But we can go forward. I meant to hit the right one, but you can't do that either. Oh. What is happening? Oh! Well that sound sounds really familiar. And look, if you hit this again... Now, do you guys remember where we heard the sound? I mean, it's it's pretty, um, not descriptive. Like, I'm sure we've heard the sound various places, but this sounds awfully familiar, like something we heard in the mechanical age. And right now it says north. Oh, let's see if we can... We can move this back and forth. But if I'm remembering right, the only direction we can go right now is north. So let's go north. Whee! Put your hands up like a bro... No, don't do that. that would, you'd look kind of silly if you did that. Oh! Well, that sound, that's not a coincidence. That sound sounds extremely familiar. That sounds like the trill sound from the Mechanical Age as well. And in fact, if you've been to the Mechanical Age f before this age, this puzzle becomes far simpler to solve, which is why I highly recommend going to the Mechanical Age before this age. Now, if you've never played this game before, you have no way of knowing that. But, uh, I do think that the Mechanical Age is much easier to find than this one, and I think the reason why the developers did that was because they're related. Now, if you remember, the trill sound, uh, means west in that, so why don't we turn this west? 
let's try that. the ding sound again and that was north and if you wrote down these sounds or you remember you have an excellent memory like I said this puzzle becomes increasingly easier now if you come to this age first or you don't realize that the sounds uh, correlate with which direction you should be going uh, it is still possible to solve this uh, one by try figuring out on your own uh, which sounds go with what direction you go if you turn around in several directions um you can see like it's it's a maze so there's some ways that are blocked off automatically and you can try and if you get stuck somewhere which does happen you can get to a dead end you backtrack to your previous spot and by process of elimination you can start finding out the sounds um i find this to be torture <laughs> so i am not going to be going through that it's so much easier to already know Anyway, that's the pshub sound, so we want to go east. Now, a little bit of history with me in this puzzle. Uh, first time I played this game with the family, we went to the mechanical age first, but did not figure out that these sounds correlated with the mechanical age. So, we spent, oh my goodness, a few hours, probably total, I mean, it was split up over time. We spent a great deal of time mazing out this entire map. My dad had this, like whole maze drawn out to figure out how to solve it and that's the pshum sound which is what we're already facing so let's go forward again uh throughout this whole map oh my gosh it was the most frustrating puzzle i think oh okay so we want to go south let's turn it this way to go south And it is not something I recommend. Um, even if, like, I don't understand why we didn't figure out what the sounds meant over time, but for some reason we didn't. I don't know if the sound was low on our computer or it was just something that did not occur to us, but yep, the whole maze mapped out on this beautifully drawn thing. All right. Dong sound. So that's south again. Well, we just keep going forward then. Um, and. As an adult, I came back to this game, I did the Mechanical Age first, just like we did in our original playthrough, and I got to this part, and I was like, these sounds sound awfully familiar, and I figured it out immediately, like, knew exactly, like, oh, this is so much easier. That's a trill sound, isn't it? Wait. Yeah, we want to go toward west, so we're south now. Went the wrong way. But yes, this is long even when I know the answer. Can you imagine how long it must be if you didn't know the answer? And I think there might have been one time I went the wrong way. We'll see. But if you follow the sounds, even when you get like one wrong or something, eventually you will find it. Yeah, I think this might be the ending um, thing. I thought at one point there was like a combination of sounds that gives you like southeast or something, but I don't remember seeing it unless I just missed it while I was babbling at you guys, which is certainly possible. Are we done? Nope. Oh, there it is. That's the combination sound. This one could throw people off. You hear a combination of the dong and the trill sound, so that means you combine those to get southwest. As I turn to southeast. Sorry guys, uh, I'm I'm afraid I fit that stereotype that women aren't very good with directions. All right, I think this, hopefully this is the last one. Although I do enjoy these these rides, I think they're pretty neat. Pretty good way to utilize the small quick time video there. Okay, that's the trill sound, so we want to go west. There we go. Are we there yet? I'm gonna be the annoying kid in the back seat. Are we there yet? Are we? 
<laughs> oh, it's like a trill combined with... It's a ding sound, so we gotta go north. Did I go the wrong way? I feel like we should be there by now. Yes, it's definitely north something. Oh, I think I got lost with my own system. I've never actually, like, since I figured this out, I've actually never gotten lost. North. Northwest, I believe, should be the way we want to go. Ta-da! And that's the one that's open, so that works out really nicely. We got some curvies. We now, if uh, you don't know your way, you can see why this would get old really fast. Okay, so we have like a northeast. I want to say. Oh, as <laughs> I turn it the wrong direction again. I'm so good at this, guys. Northeast. All right. Yes. Off we go. Into the wild blue yonder. Take a nice sip of the wine. Okay, we want to go north. That's easy enough. I, th I know I've said this 500 times, but I think this is the end. Ooh, tilt, tilt. Now this is the elaborate system that Atris talked about in his journal about uh, building like an underground uh, cave system. It seems like this world must be awfully large. All right, and so we wanna go southeast, I believe. Yes, yes. Um, and this is that underground cavey system. Now, think about how large this world must be for this system to be this elaborate. Aha! This is actually the end. I recognize it. Yes, all the crazy colors. You get so happy. I think it was a little longer than it was meant to be because I think I went uh, wrong direction at some point. Uh, misheard a sound. The sounds easily can be mixed up uh, at some points. But we made it through. Uh much easier than it could have been. And the great thing is when we uh, do our second page, we get to come back and do that again. Making this the most um, difficult age to go back to mist after you've already done it. But once you know the trick, I don't think it's too bad. It's just a little bit time consuming. And um, you know, that puzzle and the fact that I don't think the world is that cool looking it makes uh, that's the reason why this is not my favorite age although I still like it don't get me wrong but um and the fact that that puzzle kept crashing but that's not the game designer's fault uh I just it's not my very favorite all right so now that we're here it's time to put the blue page in the blue book <laughs> Uh, what? Oh, my friend. I see. And Vincent, the Sirius is guilty. Pray, do not release him. He will destroy me just as he is. Innocent bystander. I've been wrongly tricked. Into imprisonment! Didn't you have observed his unbridled lust for riches? In the four remaining worlds, 
some time. He was the most perfect. Final blow to the father. He tricked him into believing that it was I who was the murderer. I didn't murder father. Bring me the remaining. Please. A liar. Well, then a liar. Not be free. What was it? Remain new pages from the last age of mist. I must be free. I must free me. I cannot bear it here for eternity. Free me. then so Akinar uh, definitely wants us to free him we didn't actually learn that much uh you know from from the last time um he's blaming Cirrus saying that he was uh Akinar was deceived by Cirrus that he tricked father into imprisoning him um so we don't know how much truthfulness there is to that story but I definitely do want to hear uh, Cirrus's side. So, in order to do that, we are going to go back to the uh, this age. Luckily, these are all still set, which I think is fantastic. Good job, Cyan. Good job making me not do that again. 